Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I am doing a cook with me and I'm going to show you how to make our favorite enchiladas. These are probably not authentic, but they are so stinking delicious. Um, I mentioned these in my most recent What I Eat in a Day video, so I'll leave a card for that below and above for you. But let's just go ahead and get into how I make these delicious enchiladas. Okay, so I always make our enchiladas in one of these half size steamable pans. You can use a baking dish if you want, but this is just what we always use. You're also going to need a can of red enchilada sauce. You can use whatever brand works for you. I usually get store brand, but this is what our store had this time. Um, and then you're also going to need any three types of beans that you want. You just need three different cans. We always like the black beans. We also get great northern beans. And then we like the light red kidney beans. I know that my mom uses pinto beans in hers, so you can use whatever kind of beans you prefer. This is just what we like. And then you're also going to need a can of cheddar cheese soup. I've never been able to find a store brand of this. Let me know if you know a store that has store brand. And then eight um, burrito size tortillas. These are just flour tortillas, and like I said, they're the burrito size. So the first thing I'm gonna do is preheat my oven to 350 degrees and then spray my pan with a little bit of cooking spray so that nothing sticks to it. Next, I'm gonna open all three cans of beans and then I'm going to strain them out and rinse them off and then dump them into a large bowl. Once that's done, you just want to add the can of cheddar tea soup to the bowl with the beans and then mix it up thoroughly until all the beans are coated with a little bit of the cheese soup. Now that everything's mixed up, you just wanna take your tortillas and fill them with a little bit of the beans. Make sure not to overstuff them. You just need a little bit of bean in there. So just a couple of spoonfuls is perfectly fine. Then you wanna roll up the tortilla and stick it in the pan. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do all eight of my enchiladas and get them shoved in the pan. As you get closer to eight, you're gonna think that they're not all gonna fit, but I promise you, you just kinda of mush them in there.
want to open up your enchilada sauce and we're just going to put this all over the top of these. Um, if you don't like your enchilada super spicy, you can mix half a can of enchilada sauce with some tomato sauce and that will dull down the heat. That's how my mom does it. But we like ours super spicy in our house. So we just use one full can of enchilada sauce and you're gonna pour it over the top and then just use a spatula to just kind of spread it out and make sure that you get every bit of the tortilla on the top covered and get it like down in the nooks and crannies. Then you wanna cover the top of your enchiladas with some aluminum foil and put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. Now that the enchiladas are done cooking, you're going to want to take all of the aluminum foil off of them. Sometimes it can stick, so if you want to spray the top or the underside of your aluminum foil before you put it on, that is totally okay too. I just usually don't take the time because it'll come off no problem eventually. <laughs> um, then you're going to want to take shredded cheese and you can use whatever kind of shredded cheese you like. We use the Mexican cheese from Sam's. And I'm not gonna be that girl who tells you how much cheese to put on there. We put a ton. So you can put as much cheese or as little cheese as you would like, but we seriously pack on the cheese. <laughs> Once you have all the cheese on, then you're just gonna wanna put this back in your oven for another 15 to 20 minutes, just until all the cheese is nice and melted and the enchilada sauce is kinda bubbling up over the edges. And then you're gonna take it out and they are going to look like this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will catch you guys in our next one. Bye guys.